But as you can see, a big part of the football game isn't just the players, it's also the band. North Carolina a ts blue and gold marching machine is no stranger to the national spotlight. However, this weekend they're making a trip to the Motor City. WFNY News 2's Jalen Gilkey explains why. Yeah, Lauren, the Blue and Gold Marching Machine is all about putting on a great show. And this Sunday, the baddest band in the land is headed out to Ford Field for week one of the NFL season. It's incredible uh, just to get the recognition on that national stage, performing game, first week of the NFL season is amazing. This weekend, the Aggie football team is headed up to Fargo to take on the number one ranked North Dakota State Bison. However, the Blue and Gold Marching Machine has a business trip of their own schedule. It brings notoriety to our program. It helps with recruiting. It brings national attention to our university. And so it's one of the things that we, that we, uh, we are looking forward to do is just to showcase what Aggies do on a national stage. Sunday, week one of the 2022 NFL season, the North Carolina a t Band will perform at halftime of the Detroit Lions game as they take on the Eagles. Um, a lot of long hours on the practice field. I'm trying to get the show together to put out our best possible product, um, not only for our fans, but for the people that have never seen the Blue and Gold Marching Machine before. And going to Detroit, a lot of people haven't heard about HBCUs and North Carolina a t in particular. But the Detroit Lions and North Carolina a t have another link besides this Sunday's performance. Second year general manager for the team, Brad Holmes, is an Aggie as well. But to see like a black head GM of a franchise, like that's amazing. I've never thought something like that could be even possible. I appreciate him being a great Aggie, um, looking out for us, trying to put us on that national stage as well. And the plan is to make sure the entire city of Detroit knows about North Carolina a t by the time they leave. Detroit isn't the first stop on tour for the Blue and Gold Marching Machine. Two weeks ago, we were performing in Houston, Texas for the National Battle of the Bands. Last week, we were in Charlotte for the uh, rivalry with North Carolina Central University. And this week, we're in Detroit uh, for a nas another national performance for the Detroit Lions. But this trip isn't just about the band students who get to perform this Sunday. So the hard work of the students in the past are now showing in the fruits of their labor. And so the students who are now planting seeds in this band program, that, that, that fruit is gonna, gonna blossom in the future for others when they come after them. So what an honor and a privilege mm -hmm. to see my fellow Aggies be able to visit the home of another Aggie as well. Mm -hmm. It's just a great story. You know, it's funny, uh, that band puts a lot of major university bands to shame because uh -huh. just, the, the sound is incredible. And I always said at some colleges, they struggle to keep the band going and keep numbers up. It's an honor to play in that, that band. Yeah, everybody knows about North yes. Carolina a ts band. I just think it's such a great experience for the band members. I mean, they're traveling everywhere. They just were at the Battle of the Bands. So just be able to make those memories with their, their teammates is awesome. I mean, if you think about it, there was a movie made about the drum line. I mean, yeah, I, it's with, a different I mean, school, but happened. we know that we're talking about a talking about even AMT. though it was a different right. school. And it is so crazy mm -hmm. to see not only at A&T, but at a lot of other HBCUs, the band is the draw to the football games yeah. or whatever event that they're at. So it doesn't matter if it's just an event on the school or on campus, and you know, they're mm -hmm. coming by the union, the band stops and has everybody's attention until they're done. Some people only come for the band. Yeah, they're true. ready to get up and, you know, start dancing <laughs> with the right, drum line. Right. When we had, used to have the drum line coming here for the weather garden every wow. now and again. You can't hear a thing. You just walk, it's all just dressed. We need to do that, sound. bring that back. I love them. We'll do that for the four to five. That would be a lot of there fun. There we go. That's a great idea.